Thompson will just check back in and knocks out a three. Thompson, a rainbow three. Thompson turning and shooting. A long three for Thompson, and that is an NBA record. May 28, 2016 marks the official birthday of Game 6 Clay. Easily one of his most iconic performances of all time. After that game, Clay has played 9 more Game 6s, including Game 6 against the Lakers. Now, the stats in these games don't necessarily reflect legendary status. In this video, we're going to be going over why Game 6 Clay is simply just a myth. Alright, let's dive deeper into these 9 Game 6s, shall we? On average, Clay is shooting around 41.8% from the field, scoring 22 points with an overall plus minus of negative 16. To put these numbers into perspective for you, let's take a look at Clay's career averages. Over his career, he shot around 45.5% from the field for about 20 points a game. Immediately off first glance, you can see that there really isn't a significant difference between Game 6 Clay and regular Clay. If anything, you could make the argument that regular Clay is better than Game 6 Clay. Sure, Clay has had his fair share of notable Game 6s, but he's also had his fair share of blunder games. Out of the 9 Game 6s after the birth of Game 6 Clay, 5 were blunder games and 4 were amazing games, meaning over 55% of the 9 Game 6s were underwhelming. In my opinion, an amazing game requires a good amount of points and good efficiency, not just one or the other. So here's all of Clay's so-called blunder games. As you can see, in each of these games, Clay either had a good amount of points but didn't shoot well, or he didn't score or shoot well at the same time. For example, Game 6 versus the Lakers. This was one of the most depressing games from Clay Thompson that I've seen in a long time, and possibly the final kill shot to the Game 6 Clay name. 8 points on 3 of 19 shooting from the field and 2 of 12 shooting from 3 will do nothing but shoot yourself out of the game. I don't know what was worse in this game, the fact that Clay couldn't hit a single shot or the fact that Steve Kerr continued to leave Clay in when Dante was clearly cooking. But I guess that's another issue for another time. Anyways, on the other hand, Clay has had some great Game 6s and here they are. If Clay had more of these types of games versus the blunder games I showed earlier, maybe Game 6 Clay isn't so crazy to say, but unfortunately, that's not the case. But I will say a point the disparity between good Game 6s and bad Game 6s brings up is inconsistency. You can't be called Game 6 Clay and only show up in 45% of the Game 6s. That's just not how it works. But I'm really interested in what you guys think on this topic. Do y'all think Game 6 Clay is still a thing after his blunder of a Game 6 versus the Lakers? Or maybe Game 6 Clay was never a thing at all? Well, that's it for this video. So if you managed to make it this far, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to comment down below your take on this topic. See y'all later. Have a good day. Peace.